Hi, uh, this is Uma Mahesh from CRM Ones. In this video, I am going to explain about the entities object in the liquid template code. So, uh, we can retrieve the data in CRM portal. So, by using in two ways one is the O data query, and other one is the liquid uh, template code using the entity objects. So here the entities object it loads the CRM entities and then retrieve the record by by using the GUID. If the entity record exists, it will return as an entity object. It will be returned. Otherwise, it will return a null. For example, syntax is here. Uh, we can use the assign tag assign account equal to entities dot account. So, uh, for example, I want to retrieve a certain account, account record with this GUID. So, at the runtime, so in the in the web template, if you return this statement, so it will return, uh, it it will retrieve the account record which is having the with this GUID in this variable. And in the below, if we can keep the if condition like this, if account is not null, then I am printing the account dot name here. So similarly, I am printing the account dot status dot label also, and I am doing the and if here. So this is a one statement we can do that directly. Entities dot your entity schema name we can do like that. In other way, we can do that here. Entities square bracket we can pass the entity schema logical name. And we can pass the which record we can want to retrieve. So like that, we can retrieve the particular record, particular entity record uh, in the web template code in the CRM portals or in ADX Studio. So entity object it will return the the following parameters for us. So the ID, the first attribute will get an ID. So it will give the record GUID. And logical name, it will give the logical name of that entity. So nodes, it will load the nodes associated with that particular entity record. So whatever the nodes it's associated with that particular record, it will it will grow, it will load. And permissions, whatever the entity permissions it is associated with that particular record, it will return that, and it will give the URL. It will return the you are portal content management system URL uh, of the entity. So next one here it will give the attribute or relationship name. So it, it can give the attribute or relationship name. So for example, if you want to read created on, so we can take that uh, attribute dot that entity object dot created on. We can use like that. So we can pass that schema name of that entity. We can use it here. So if you want to particular attribute name, if you want to retrieve like this entity attribute schema name, we can pass it. We can read that all the attributes for that particular record of that entity. Next, for lookup fields, it will return as the entity reference object. So for lookup attribute values, it will return as the entity reference object which is following the three attributes again. So ID, logical name, and name of that uh, lookup record name. And notes object, notes object also, it will it will return the, the following attributes. So it will mainly, one of the attribute is the document body. It will return the document body as the base 64 encoded string. So again, we need to convert into the as a string then we can we can show in our portal so next thing option set values for option set values it will return the two attributes label and value so if you want to take if you want to read that particular entity if you have a label and value so wherever we have a label we can use the dot label or if you want the value dot value we can use it for our attributes so like that we can retrieve these records. Thank you so much for watching this video.